Many of the uh, Piano Disc IQ Player systems are equipped with an Apple Airport Express wireless router, which is located up underneath the piano. It looks like this little box right here. Now the purpose of this box is to be able to transmit music from your iPad wirelessly to the Airport Express, which in turn is connected to the player piano's mechanism to make the keys move up and down. Now when your piano disc was installed, if it's equipped with an Airport Express, in all likelihood the Airport Express has a dedicated wireless network, oftentimes called IQ. And in order to play the piano, you need to connect to the IQ network. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how you can reconfigure the Airport Express so that number one, you don't have to connect to the dedicated IQ network or whatever the other name, whatever that network may be named. But it also allows you to take advantage of other features like our streaming piano disc radio stations, the ability to be able to purchase and download music directly from our music store, to use MIDI files and play your piano, and also to make it easier to operate the system because you don't have to, to connect to the dedicated network. So let me show you how we reconfigure the Airport Express to take advantage of these extra features. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to locate the Airport Express which is going to be up underneath your piano out of sight. Once again it's going to look something like this little box right here. Now make sure the power is on to the Airport Express. You'll know that because there's a little light that you can see right here that will indicate that power is to the Airport Express. Now with either the tip of a ballpoint pen or a paper clip you're going to locate the reset button which is located on the back side of the Airport Express. Let me show you. Here's the back side. Here are your cable connections. And right over here, there's a very small little reset button. So what you want to do is take the tip of your pen and push in on that reset button until the light on the front flashes quickly yellow. See how it's flashing? Once that's done, you can then release the reset button and the Airport Express is starting to reboot. That's all that needs to be done from the standpoint of resetting the Airport Express, but now the next step is to actually reconfigure the Airport Express so that it becomes part of your regular Wi-Fi network in your home. That's going to make things easier, and this next part of the video will show you how to do that. Once the Apple Airport Express has fully rebooted, let's go to the iPad and touch the settings icon on your iPad screen. Once the settings page opens up, on the left hand column near the top, tap where it says Wi-Fi. On the right hand side of the page, you'll get a menu showing the available networks within range of the Airport Express. But you'll also see a box that says set up new airport base station and it'll give you the description of the Airport Express we want to set up. Go ahead and touch that box. You're not getting the airport setup page and it's going to be gathering some information about the networks that are within range. This can take a few moments so be patient. While you're waiting one of the things that you might want to do is make sure that you have your wireless internet security password available to you because you're going to need that as we set up the Airport Express to be part of your existing network. So be patient once again. You might want to run, get another cup of coffee, whatever the case may be, but just be patient and in a few moments we will see a different page show up here on the screen. There we go. 
Now, this page opens up and it gives you a couple of recommendations right in the middle of the page. One says create a new network, which says recommend it, and there's a blue check mark there. That's not what we want to do in this particular case. So go down to the next line where it says other options and tap that. Once a blue check mark appears next to other options, go ahead and touch next in the upper right hand corner. A new screen appears. From the choices in the window, go to where it says add to an existing network, the second box down and tap that. Once the blue check mark appears, go ahead and touch the blue next in the upper right hand corner. Another window appears giving you a list of the available networks within range of the Airport Express. In our example here, I'm going to choose the Motorola network, which is the fourth one down. Once the blue check mark appears, go to the upper right hand corner and touch the blue next. Now, here is where you're going to name the Airport Express device. This is an important step because later on when you go to connect to the piano through what they call the Apple AirPlay function, you're going to need the name of the device that you want to connect to. So in the device box, let's put some type of name. You want something that is simple and that you know is associated with your player piano. So you might want to name it Player Piano or Piano Disc IQ, something like that, that you know is going to be associated with the Player Piano itself. So I'm going to put in Piano Disc IQ. There we go. Then move down to where it says Password. Touch the box password and put in a very simple to remember password. I usually use password or simply the numbers 1 through 8. The password is going to be 8 characters long, so 1 through 8 is easy to do. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It'll ask you to verify in the next box down, so go ahead and tap verify and re-enter the password. There we go. Once that's done, hit Next in the upper right-hand corner. It's going to ask you if you want to save or not save the password. I usually touch Save. And now it's going to ask for your network's security password. So let's put this in. In my case, it's a pretty long one. Sorry for this. There we go. And now it is looking to join the Motorola network. Once again, this takes a little bit of time might be a little slower than normal because I am using the screensaver uh, function of the iPad with the microphone so sometimes that causes a little bit of interference but it's looking to join the Motorola network right now Once this is done, there we go, it says Setup Complete, so just tap where it says Done in the upper right hand corner. Now, you have successfully reconnected the, reconfigured the Airport Express to actually be part of your Wi-Fi network. As I said earlier, this makes the operation of your player piano easier because you don't have to connect to the previously dedicated network for the piano. 
And it also means that you can take advantage of our streaming piano disc radio feature. Also makes it easier if you want to purchase and download new music from the piano disc music store. I hope this has been helpful. Please review this if you need to and have fun. Thank you.